Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to build Ayaka as the main DPS. I will be talking about her best weapons, artifacts and some team comps for you to use. Her top 5 weapons are Miss Splitter's Edge, the new 5 star sword. It has crit damage, substats, high base attack and a great passive build specifically for Ayaka. For people that want to go all in and reach the highest damage ceiling, consider investing in this weapon. Number 2 is Summit Shaper which is another 5 star option that is great for Ayaka. Diona, Ayaka's best support, will generate shields which boost Summon Shaper's attack even more. So if you already have a Summon Shaper and plan to roll Ayaka and run it with Diona, you don't have to pull for the Mist Splitter. Let's get to the 4 star options. Black Cliff Longsword is a good 4 star sword from Paimon's Bargains as it has Ayaka's desirable crit damage substat. It has a high base attack and the passive is really good when you defeat multiple enemies. The Black Sword is another good 4 star option for people that buys the battle pass as it provides heals and increased normal attack damage. The crit rate substat on the weapon can help you focus on building crit damage for Ayaka on your artifacts. Lastly, the Flute is a decent option if you don't have any of the other weapons mentioned. However, the upcoming craftable weapon Anemona Kageueta Blade might be a good dark horse so be sure to craft that as well and try if it's good or not. Next, Ayaka's artifact should be the 4 piece Blizzard Strayer. Go farm her now if you don't have them. The recommended artifact substats are Attack% percent Sand, Cryo Damage Goblet, and Crit Damage Circlet. You should aim for at least 120% energy recharge so you can actually have a good burst. Time. Finally, we're going to be going over some of Ayaka's team comps. I'm going to make a more in-depth team comp video after Ayaka's official release so be sure to sub to not miss out. Anyways, you generally want Diona in your team as she and Ayaka gets the Cryo Resonance, which increases 15% crit rate on Frozen or enemies affected by Cryo. Diona is also her best battery that can offset Ayaka's 80 energy cost on her elemental burst. Furthermore, she can heal and shield so she basically covers 3 roles as a battery, healer, and a shoulder. If you don't have her, Kaya is a good battery but you now need a healer. So Barbara is a good substitution for a healer as she'll heal and also freeze at the same time. Ayaka shines in freeze comms so you can use Barbara as a healer and applying hydro. Shinshu provides the best single target hydro application and has good damage. He's just an amazing support and the perfect hydro character for freeze comps. Mona is another good hydro option to have with her elemental burst increasing damage taken from enemies. She also has an AoE hydro application on both her elemental skill and elemental burst. For the last slot, you can put any support characters that can benefit Ayaka, such as Venti with his best crowd control ability. You can also use Kazuha to buff Ayaka and he has decent crowd control as well. However, if you are building an all waifu team, you can use Sucrose even though her elemental mastery doesn't really benefit anything for freeze comps, but she has decent crowd control skills. Jean can provide healing and also cleanse at the same time, so overall they are all very good options. Hopefully this video gave you an idea on who to build for Ayaka. Feel free to suggest more team comps or ask general questions on how to build her and I'll try my best to answer your questions. I will be uploading more videos as 2.0 release so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned.